Uh, welcome back to Fresno Hip Hop Scene. This last weekend was very, very nice at the Tower Theater. You know, my second annual um, comedy show. It was really, really nice. It was beautiful. You know, all the guests that came and uh, I mean, all the performers that came and did um, a wonderful job. Just want to say thank you to Weasley P, my host. Thank you, Kenzie Rose. Um, thank you, Lonnie Pele. Thank you, Tony Martin. Thank you, John Jones. And uh, who else was on the show? You was there. Yeah, I was there. Did you enjoy the show? Oh, it was beautiful. That's right, that's right. Everything was beautiful. I want to thank Eric Blake for coming down and, um, you know, doing it, doing his thing, making the people of um, the people of Fresno <laughs> laugh. Like I said, when I was on Channel 24, uh, she asked me what 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 do Fresno need and um, why do I think that um, this comedy show is going to be good. And I told her, I said, um, you know, I try to bring the A-list a comedians down here and deal with the local comedians and stuff like that. So um, that's what I'm going to continue to do. And this show is tonight, you know, um, it's Black History Month, you know, uh, Mr. 17th. Got a few more weeks left in Black History Month, and um, I have a big event that I'm doing at Fresno City College. You know, me and Prayer Gordon, um, we put this event to get together. You know, well, you know, I got the venue, and I let my sister, my beautiful sister, you know, put it together. And I really think it's going to be a very, very nice show, you know. So I'm encouraging the, the city of Fresno to come out and to support this event, you know. Um, I don't know. She had worked hard. Her and her committee. She was supposed to be here tonight, but she saw. She sent my beautiful sister Crystal. You know, um, I'm gonna say it. You know, um, I love all the ladies in um, in the little organization, but Crystal, she's like very special because um, she's just special. And um, I also have my uh, my little partner, No Print. He's gonna be performing for me in uh, March. They teach at Fresno City College. You know, my first annual uh, spring break hip-hop comedy jam. I'm excited about that. And um, Country Cousin, he's supposed to be here tonight. I guess he's running a little late. But like I say, um, just going to continue to do what I do right here at Fresno Hip-Hop Scene. So how was your weekend, Natalie? It was beautiful. It was beautiful? Yeah, the show made it beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> The show made it beautiful, huh? Yeah. Uh, glad you and your boyfriend, you know, you guys made it down. Had a little trouble at the door, but I told you, just, you know, when you get there, just call me, you know, you guys going to get in. Yeah, it was it was awesome. It was really, really, really nice. Mm -hmm. but probably, well, who's your favorite comedian, the one that you saw? Which one that made you laugh? Well, Weezy was doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Weezy was doing a lot. Weezy was doing a lot. Um, all of them were really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. All of them were really good. I really enjoyed all of them. Yeah, Weezy, you know, he's 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 very funny. You know, he, I've been knowing Weezy for like three years, and um, he had hosted a few of my events. He performed last year, so I'm like, you know, I'm going to give you some pride, let you, you know, host this. You know you're from Chicago, but you're a Fresno now, so you've been here like five years. So. Oh, and the DJ was really good, too. I like the music. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Had me Shout going. out to DJ Ghostbomb, mm -hmm. man, and your sidekick, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, they did a hell of a job. You know, I, I was proud. Mm -hmm. At the end of the night, you know, I, I felt I felt really good, you know, and then when I went home, you know, after, after it was over, because I was telling everybody I just wanted it to be over so I could see the results and see, you know, how the how city... How was the party best? Man, the party buff was off the chain, <laughs> you know, off the chain, man. Shout out to Johnny, man. If you ever watched my show, we was trying to turn it in early, but he was like, no, man, we're going to go to Denny's. I'm like, man, I can't pay for no overtime. He was like, no, you know, I got you. So, you know, we, we uh, went to Denny's, you know, had breakfast, you know. Shout out to my boy Nate Duhon and Big Bush. They came down from L.A. We was clowning at, um, at Denny's, you know, over breakfast. <laughs> but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was nice. You know, and like I say, um, I got I got events planned for the city of Fresno. I say next Wednesday, you know, Freeway Rick he supposed to be in town at um, Fresno City College for um, Black History Month. He's gonna show his movie cracking the system, and also, um, excuse me, speak to the kids in regards to you know the do's and don'ts. You know, you can sell drugs, you can get rich, but at the end of the day, you're going to prison. You yeah. know, it's designed. That's it's designed like that. 
You know, we don't have no planes, no boats to bring that stuff over here. But when they when they bring it over here, we don't want to sell it, and we don't want to, um, you know, face consequences. But like I said, I'm gonna go um, to a quick commercial and come back with my first guest, Miss Crystal. You know, we're gonna chop it up, and she got some free tickets that she want to give away. So we go to the first cu quick commercial. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. For information on author Steve Hammond's Rise of the Penguin saga, visit www.riseofthepenguins.net. Kissed by the Moon, your cloth diaper and natural parenting store. Call 559-231-7101 or visit them online at kissedbythemoon.com. Low testosterone affects most men. Dr. Kevin Lester discusses a testosterone optimization program. The top program is a testosterone optimization program designed to improve men's health and well-being. Men's testosterone, which diminishes gradually from the time they're about 30 or 35 to about the time they die, which is you know, hopefully 86, 87, uh, they gradually have less and less testosterone. Your belly becomes fatter, your blood vessels become worse, you become out of shape, you get grouchy. Come in for a free measurement, and then it's almost always insured. Almost all insurance companies cover it, including Medicare. But it's free to come in for the first consultation. After that, even if you're a cash patient, it's $140 a month. Find out more about the testosterone optimization program by visiting tophatmed.com or calling 559-431-2332. Mike Briggs Properties sells homes in the Tower District and throughout Fresno and the Valley. Did you know we also sell businesses? Why work to build someone else's business when you could build your own? The small businesses we have for sale include restaurants, professional practices, and you can even own your own TV show. This week's featured businesses include an established pizza by the slice business in the heart of the Tower District and also available a laundromat in Van Ness Village. If you are interested in owning a business, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 and ask for details. Looking for a travel agent? Look no further. Bianca Echeveste can make your travel dream a reality, even on a budget. Visit ilovemytravelbiz.com or call Bianca at 559-284-2217. What's going on? We're back live, Fred, no hip-hop scene. I got my first guest. Like I say, this beautiful woman right here, Crystal, um, she's just amazing. So did you enjoy the show? Yes, the show was amazing. Okay. I had a very good time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So um, I know all of them was funny, but who made you just laugh and just wanted to fall out your seat? Eric Blake <laughs> and Wizzy the Pete. Yeah. Right. You know, he yeah. is very good at what he does. He comes out. He has little punchlines mm -hmm. to keep the show moving. Mm -hmm. I think if it wasn't for him, I don't know what would have happened, but he kept it going. He oh, really yes, did yes, a good yes, job. Yes, yes, and Eric Blake was awesome. I like the little guy with the belt. He kind of... <laughs> <laughs> the little guy. Like, how you earn the belt? <laughs> Where you get that belt from? WW what? But um, he was cool. Yeah, that's that's John Jones. You know, um, he's supposed to be here, but I guess he didn't get the memo. You know, to talk about the show. But I'm really glad you enjoyed yourself. And like I say, um, Weezy the P, he um, he's very good. Yes, he is. He's very good. I met, like I said, I met Weezy probably in 2011, and he did a show for me um, at the Babylon Club right here in the Tower. And I was living at the, in that at the time. I said, when I uh, move back to Fresno, you know, I'm gonna do business with you. And when I moved back, he had his own talk show, High Risk, okay. um, every two Thursdays and Thursdays and Saturday. And you know, he was always telling me, "Rod, come be a guest," you know. But um, so tell me, um, about the little, um, you know, not the little our big thing we got coming up on um, the 26th. Okay, you know when I tell people about it. I say God has a plan in mind because he brought hip-hop and gospel together. He brought 
CEO Rod Johnson, Hip Hop Scene, and Prayer Golden together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's awesome because God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. And this is mysterious to me because people look at hip hop as something negative. But we're going to show them a positive side of hip hop. And then for Rod to be part of this is also awesome because he's seeking the Lord from what we've been coming in and ministering to him and praying with him. I see that he's seeking. So this show is for seekers. It's for people that's looking for something other than what they've been getting. And black history is important because we have so many things that we've brought to the world, yes, period, yes, yes, that yes. we don't get credit for. But we get this one month to kind of shine. Well, I shine every day. <laughs> <while you're playing. laughs> so, you know, God is good. This is our time. We're going to shine. Come to the show. You know, come with expectations. Mm -hmm. You know, we always say that if you don't expect nothing, you don't get nothing. Right, so so if you come with expectation, expecting something good to happen, something good is going to happen. If you come knowing that you're going to be blessed when you leave, you can leave your burdens, you can leave your problems, you can leave worries. You know, if it's just for that period of time, you could do that there. But we hope you leave it there and walk out changed because God is in the business of changing things. He's changed me. You know, I'm a PR person for prayer, Golden, but a ministry, I am changed, girl. Okay, let me, let me stop you, sister. How did God change you, and what did he change you from? Ooh, a mighty long way. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I had an interview here with you before, mm -hmm. and I said that I didn't come from where prayer golden came from. Mm -hmm. I'm not a prayer golden. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be. That's right. I'm crystal. That's right. And That's right. I came from where I came from. Prayer golden to me is unique in her way, and I'm unique in mine. But she showed me so many things about walking with Jesus and walking with the Lord, and she's making disciples. And that's what we need. Yes, we need man, disciples. Man. Yes, she is. And yes, I don't yes, care what yes. walk of life you come from. If you have a message. You have something to give to somebody else that's seeking. Because we have to seek after God. I, I was seeking after all the wrong things. Like I said before, I had um, substance abuse. Mm -hmm. 12 years of substance abuse. In mm -hmm. the formative years of my children. You know, I have two sons. And um. I feel some of the issues that they had in life was brought on by my issues and not dealing with things. So I don't blame myself today because God has brought me from there. Yes, totally. But today I have to look back at that and know that that was part of the problem. It's part of the problem in everybody's life today. And some of it is not owning up to what you did. See, I was a mess. That's so where how I long have from. you been um, in this group? I've been in the prayer ministry group with Linda Golden for over 10 years. Uh -huh. We have um, Women in Purple. Now it's just Women in Purple because at first when it came out, it was mm -hmm. 100 Women in Purple. But mm -hmm. we have more than 100 women that come out now. And now we have men. So uh -huh. we just have people. And so the event is usually in March, the 26th. But last March, she got remarried. She renewed her vows. Oh. Mm -hmm. So this March, we're going to have our ministry, which is Look to the Hills, which come with your help. And it's going to be another ministry for Rolinda's inspiration. And that's going to be another event that I want everybody to come to. I hope we get a chance to um, promote that what on you, the show. Stop, stop, stop. Let me just stop you. <laughs> what you mean? You hope you get a chance. It's like this. Like, like I tell everybody, when I met this sister, you know, I met her over the summer. At sunset, you know, Brian King and Joby, they had called like a community meeting. Mm -hmm. They was talking about, you know, really trying to do something for the community, you know, from, from their standpoint, then they invited everybody. And I was there, and, you know, like I say, um, the Fresno Street Saints, you know, they're my pot and stuff like that, but as um, far as, you know, always going to meetings and stuff like that, it's time to cut out all the meetings, execute. Oh, we, can, we can have a meeting. But after we have a meeting, let's go out and do it. Hi. And when I met, when I saw her there, and you know the way she conducted herself, and like I told her, she was glowing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if it was God there, but this lady was just glowing. I mm -hmm. was sitting back like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, then they say we're gonna have another uh, another follow up meeting in two weeks. That never happened. You feel me? It never happened. So I'm like, okay, we would. I don't know if they with the games or they trying to do this for money. They trying to do it for TV or whatever mm -hmm. they trying to do it. But then I got in contact with um, Prayer Golden um, through the social media, and I told him, I'm like, listen, you know, I got a situation. It's going to be nice. 
And when I came to the Hen Center, you know, when they prayed for me, and I just, she was just growing again. Yeah. So, you know, I, I did, you know, what I do, you know, when I got a venue for a friend of City College for Black History Month, and say, this is yours, sister, I got your back. Okay. You know, I'm going to get the building, do the flies, whatever, but she is very, very special. Yes, she is. She's a very special woman. Not just in Fresno, she's special around this world, and I yes. keep on telling her, you have to start your show right here because you can reach people and touch people and bring people in. When they, when they, they might be still lost or they might be straddling the fence, you know, if they talk to her, they would get some type of clarity or something. You know, she just, I don't know what to yeah, say about that. Yeah, she's name. anointed. That's yes, what yes, it very, is. Very. And she does have a glow. And anything she has something to do with, it prospers. You know, mm -hmm. and that just tells me that I'm in the right place because mm -hmm. everything that I've been doing ever since I met her and became part of her ministry, I've prospered. I've changed. I've grown. Mm -hmm. I've, I've become less reserved in areas and more outspoken in areas, mm -hmm. you know, in the right areas. Because, mm -hmm. see, I would tell some people some things, but today I tell them about <laughs> Jesus. I tell them about <laughs> the goodness of God. I tell them what God <laughs> can do for them. And um, our show at... Fresno City College on the 26th is going to be awesome. At 7 mm -hmm. o'clock, $10. I have two free tickets right here, you guys. Mm -hmm. The first callers call in tonight, talk about the show. It's two free tickets here that I paid for. I'm blessing somebody with them. Mm -hmm. um, I would like for everyone to attend, but not so much attend, but get something out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. come to events and we come to things, and I think we don't get anything out of it because we don't put anything into it. So like I say, again, come with expectations. We have our uh, mind person. She's also a, a member of St. Rest Baptist Church, and her name is Rachel, and she's a mind, and she has a anointing on her that you could feel it just flowing off of her and she don't speak she's not gonna sing but it's just her presence you can tell that she's anointed yes, and then we it. have um country cousin country cousin yes. he's and on his way yeah. he's on his way <laughs> you ain't no country cousin <laughs> he might be i lost in the country <laughs> <laughs> but and then we have um terry levy nicholson mm -hmm. And the three-day praise, they're coming. And she was the first time I met her was a Rolinda's Inspiration mm -hmm. event. And she has a CD. And the first song that I really, really touched me was I'm Free. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what we want to be today. You know, this is black history. We're free. We're not slave. We're not in bondage unless mm -hmm. you want to be. Mm -hmm. Because, see, God paid the price for all that. G sent Jesus, his <coughs> only son. I have two, and I wouldn't have gave never one of mine. <laughs> For real, you know, but G God was so good. He loved us yes, so yes, much yes, 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 yes. that he gave his son to whoever, to whoever. And that's the point that people need to get. You don't have to get right because you can't get right. Mm -hmm. If we could get right, we'd be right. We can't get right. Oh, God is the only person that is right. He's perfect. Mm -hmm. He's a perfect person, a perfect. Everything he made, he said it was good. Yes. I do things. Sometimes I don't even do good things. <laughs> but I do the best I can. Let me ask you a question, Crystal. Like like I say, love, you know, um, when I met you, when I met all you ladies at the Hen Center, and then, you know, when you guys came down here to Fresno Hip Hop scene the first time, and it's like, you know, I love all y'all. You know, I love all y'all. Y'all like my sisters, you know. I, I got a sister, you know, but I always wanted, like, you know, some sisters. And I feel like I have that in you, in you and um, Prayer Gold and all the rest of the ladies. But like I said, it's, it's just something about you, you know. We're going we're gonna to do a show, you know, just about you, you know, so you can really tell, you know, you might reach a young lady, you might reach somebody that's out there that's still lost, you know, with the substance abuse and stuff like that, you know. But, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like God, you know, like I told everybody, I've been trying to get back home for, like, seven years. I've been back home for, like, 18 months. You know, I've been promoting comedy shows and, you know, trying to reach the community and let them know what I do and what I'm capable of doing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, when I went to my homeboy and stuff like that, they was, you know, wishy-washy. But when I came to y'all, y'all was like, okay, we got you. Let's pray and let's make this happen. Exactly. So that's, 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 that's what I needed. That's what I got. That's what I asked God for when I was sitting in Chino State Prison when I said, okay, I'm going to give up this lifestyle in L.A., I'm going to move back, and hopefully I can, you know, get people, you know, to understand what I do. Hmm. 
You know, because a lot of people don't understand what I do, and then when I tell them it's simple, they're like, no, it's not simple, you know. Like the show Sunday, you know, it was, I worked hard. Yes, it looked like you. You know, I worked hard, you know, and then like the last two or three weeks, I, I got some good brothers, like my cameramans, you know, Nicole, she stepped up big time, and it's like, let's keep on doing it and giving friends know what they want. Exactly, because... We live here. You know, mm -hmm. we have to be about our business, too. You know, we can't go to L.A. to their concerts mm -hmm. and promote them and not promote right here at home. Mm -hmm. We have things right in our own backyard that we need to take, you know, inventory. Of. We need to take responsibility for We need to support ourselves. Mm -hmm. Once we learn to support ourselves, others will help and come in to the fold, and they will also give us a little support. Mm -hmm. But we don't support ourselves. We trust don't support me, each man, other. Man, trust the me. <laughs> event Sunday, Valentine's Day was lovely. And what I thought was, like um, Nicole said, you were real brave because a lot of people did a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. That was a day for lovers and people just to go on and do mm -hmm. all kind of things. Mm -hmm. And you took a chance to promote something like that. It was nice. It was classy. It was it was just, I loved it. It was really Thank nice. You. It was like my little coming out because I don't get out. But anyway, <laughs> you know, now I want to go to everything. <laughs> well, you know, you VIP on everything. On everything. I know the next time you had your clean cut VIP. A, wear my shirt. Yeah, yes, yes. You don't know your, your VIP badge. You know, but right. like I say, that Sunday night before I go to, um, to a commercial and bring my um, next guest up, like I say, Sunday night, it was very, very special to me. Because, like I say, you know, um, right here at Central Valley Talk, these Briggs, they're very special to me. And, um, you know, Mike, Mike and um, his wife was at the show. And Miss um, Robin, she just had a wonderful time. You know, and Mike, you know, he had a beautiful time. And, like I say, I worked hard. And I'm going to continue to work hard to bring the best. I want the best, you know, right here in Fresno. A lot of people, they talk about the prices or something. But like you say, if you go to L.A., Cat Williams come or hmm. Kevin Hart, the price going to be $85. I can bring them dudes, but I ain't got the budget yet to get exactly. seven arena. As long as I can deal with the Tower, the Tower Theater and Fresno City College, I can bring top quality, you know, entertainment, you know, to this, to Fresno. But like I say, you know, tell them how they can reach you and how can they reach Prayer Gordon. Like I say, y'all don't forget she got these free tickets, man, you know, that she's giving away to um, someone who calls in or just see me or you just want to go to the show and see something special on the 26th. Yes, the tickets is $10.00. We also gonna give you like a little snack. We're not gonna feed you no dinner, but we're gonna have something because we're expecting people to come from work. You know, some people are in school, some people are doing things. It's at seven o'clock at Fresno City College. So we are gonna provide some type of substance for you other than the food and the word of God. It's gonna be music, it's gonna be uplifting and spiritual so you know the holy spirit will be there i'll be there you know i hope to see I a lot of there. us there yes. you know our people <laughs> black people all people yes. i hope she comes to be, be there too <laughs> you know because cut. it's just a blessing it's a yes. blessing to be in the presence of the lord yes. it's a blessing to be about people that talk about the lord it's a blessing to lead people to the lord so rolinda Prayer Golden is a she makes disciples, man, so man, that's man, why she man. has the glow. That's why she has this thing about her that if you say something, she's gonna do it. She's not gonna just talk man, about man. it. She's a doer of the word. She's out there in the harvest doing the work, and I'm one of her followers, and I'm gonna do the work too. Ain't nothing lazy about us. We do what we say we're going to do. So with that, I thank you guys for listening. Please come to the show. It's going to be awesome. It's not a show. For real, it's just something that's going to make you feel good. Right. So anything that make you feel good is going to be something better and beneficial to you. So please come. Thank you. That's right. Uh, my next guest, man, is my cameraman, Kay. We're on a quick commercial right here, Fred. No hip-hop scene. Pasture grazed, delicious, nutrient dense, 100% organic raw milk from Organic Pastures. Visit organicpastures.com or call 1 877 raw milk. I was an addict, an opiate addict. The three years clean in October. I was renewed at the Fresno Rescue Mission. My mom, who does a lot of cooking, has been part of the rescue mission, has been willing to help teach people to make jams and jellies and other food. The Fresno Rescue Mission. And I believe 
the downtown Fresno needs a renewal as well. Tree of Life Cafe represents new, healthy growth in downtown Fresno. I've seen men and women go through rehab programs. They want to start a new life. And yet when they get out on the street, they find it very difficult to get a job. Nobody will give them a chance. That's what this cafe is designed to do. You will be like family to us. We will serve you our home-cooked food made with farm-fresh produce that comes from farmers right here in our valley. We, we love, love downtown Fresno. Fresno. Sunshine Natural Health in Tulare, California is your source for nature's best remedies. Call Sunshine Natural Health at 559-688-2063 and get healthy. If you're considering a reverse mortgage in the Central Valley or just want more information, contact Jerry Carmichael. She's experienced, and more important, she's local. Call 559-903-6903. Call Brian Cossack today at 559-977-1976. Protecting you and those you love financially. Make an appointment today. At Miracle Realty, we've been providing premier professional residential sales and property management in residential and commercial property for years. We manage single-family homes, condominiums, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, office space, and much more. No matter what experience level you have in property management, Miracle Realty strives to make your experience as stress-free as possible. Serving Madera and the surrounding areas, we use the latest technology and provide top-notch service. We're a trusted and reliable name in residential sales and property management with the experience to answer any questions or complications that might come up. Give us a call today or visit us online for more information. Central Valley Talk. Hey, we back live at Fresno Hip Hop Scene. You know, I got my cameraman with this clean cut, um, official cameraman. Like I say, you know, this brother, when I met him, you know, he just did something that, you know, I wouldn't have did, but if I had to do it, I would have did, you know, but, um, what's up, baby? How you doing, sir? You enjoyed the show? Oh, man, it was lovely. It was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. A lot of good people, a lot of great time, a lot of great pictures. Man, like I say, I, that's why I brought you on the show, man. Um, those pictures are beautiful, bro. Yeah, I can't wait yeah. to see Ants. Yeah, you know, like I say, you know, you guys, you and Ant, man, um, I guess God sent y'all to, um, to me, and I appreciate y'all, bro, for everything y'all do for me, man. You know, it's like, you know, pictures, I tell pictures, people, Mac T and told you, nigga, take a picture trick, it might make you rich. You get that <laughs> right picture, and it's like, it might get rich, but the picture that y'all taking me, man, is making me... How can I say it, bro? It's making me stand out, you know, from the regular pictures that we take in the phone and stuff like that. I was with my little homeboy today when I was at the doctor. He saw them black and white pictures that you took yeah. and that you added. He like, deep. them the ones right there, man. Them, them color ones are short, but them the black and white ones. They're clean. They're very, very nice, yes. man. And it's like, just can't I just can't thank y'all enough, bro. And um, you know, we going to LA this weekend on the twenty first, you know, John's Ooh, yes. going down there to perform. We're gonna get um a lot of good pictures, a lot of good footage. Definitely, definitely. That's gonna be an exciting show right there. Mm -hmm. John's gonna knock it out the park. We're gonna take some great pictures. I'm gonna have my clippers. <laughs> <laughs> Clean cut entertainment. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. But like I say, bro, I just I just wanted to bring you on the show, man, and I uh, just thank you, bro, and uh, you know continue to help me, man. As, as we as I grow, as the budget grow, this, it's gonna grow. Yep. You know, believe me. Like I tell everybody, this is the first quarter. I got shows lined up into June. You know, I spoke to um, a young female comedian today, and um, her and Nicole and um, Whitney they's finna put this big show together, June the third. It's gonna be a little different. Than what I do, you know, because I, I don't discriminate against, against no one. You know, she's lesbian, and, you know, I'm going to focus on this gay community right here in this Tower Theater, and I don't care what nobody say about me because I know who I am, and I know what God is telling me to do in Fresno. You feel me? So, um, like I say, bro, you, when you sat right here, you said them lights was bright, you better get used to them, bro, because, you know, <laughs> if God said the same, you know you're going to be in front of bright light taking beautiful pictures, bro. We do. 
Clean cut every day. That's right. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, sir. We're going to go to um, commercial right now. My next guest, Mr. Country Cousin. We're going to talk about this um, event. We got a Fresno City College and what, what he's doing in the community, what he got coming up. Be right back. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. Are you a first-time home buyer or investor? Realtor Amy Braun can introduce you to a special program tailored just for you. Call Amy Braun at 960-4155 or visit amyhbraun.com. Need raisins? Call National Raisin Company at 559-834-5981 or online at nationalraisin.com. I think people think of raw food or healthy food as not having much flavor, and this is so flavorful. A very nutrient-dense, and it feeds my body. I love raw Fresno because I've learned so much about nutrition. It's organic, and it's it's delicious. It's nutrient dense um, and very tasty. So that's alive, probiotics, and healthy vegetables to get that protein, uh, and it's a game changer. It's awesome. Come to Raw Fresno just because I love the food and there's not too many options or any options like this anywhere. I come back because the food is delicious. It's definitely a new experience, you know, the different tastes, the salad, it's absolutely delicious. I love the food because as I found, uh, this food actually has a lot of flavor. It's all so good, it's even, it's hard for me to decide what to eat, so then I'll just take samples of everything. Uh, my husband and I both are addicted to it, and it's like we go through uh, kale withdrawals, because it makes us feel better. It's so healthy, and because it tastes so good. I love the wraps, I love the chocolate cheesecake, and I know everything in it is good for me, and I can eat it and feel good about myself. The food is so healthy and very tasty. I would definitely come back to Raw Fresno. I'm not even the same person. And it's all to this food. It's just amazing. It's transforming. Central Valley Talk. Yeah, welcome back to Fresno Hip Hop Scene. As y'all can see, I got my partner, you know, Richard Graham, a.k.a. Country Cousin. Like I say, this this man right here, he's very, very special to me. He means the world to me right here in Fresno. A lot of the stuff that I have did in the last seven months, you know, real, real, you know, I don't want to cuss, but real shit, I couldn't have did it without this brother right here. Man, I just want to thank you, and you know how I feel about you. Man, you welcome, man. I love you, man. Oh, oh. Okay, that's enough. Oh, yeah, man. Getting too much. Oh, yeah. Look, yo, yo, baby. What's up? Give me some, girl. Wow. Wow. Like I said, it's, only, it's only one. It's only, it's only one country cousin. You know, everybody, you know, down in, Miss, in Memphis or Texas, Louisiana, somewhere down south, they got a country cousin. But, you know, this Ooh, is my sure country do. cousin right here in sure Fresno. So, uh, what's been going on, man? Hey, check it out, man. Getting ready for this upcoming event. February 26th. You tell you told the folks about it, right? Man, told the world. Wow. Well, listen, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all got to come out and be a part of this program. For real, you do. You just got to come out and be a part of it. Some great entertainers, some great singing, a lot of gospel music, and you get to hear yours truly, baby. Better than Elvis when he sang, <laughs> Baby, let me be loving daddy bear. Put a train around my neck. That's just enough for Elvis. I want y'all to get excited. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you like to come out and be a check out the program. Great program going on. My buddy Hot Rod put this on for the community. Yes, indeed. And man, Fresno City College is going to be hopping. So get your tickets. From Hot Rod, from PASU, from Miss Carla Kirk over there. But get you a ticket and come to the event. Now, if you want to know what's going to be like, then you got to go like this. 
There's a happy land of promise over in the great beyond. Well, the same ones are soon that glory share. We're all the saints who live there and live on forevermore. Everybody will be happy over there. Well, now everybody, Lord, will be happy. Now we'll be happy, Lord, over there. We will shout, now we will sing, telling that story by and by, everybody will be happy over there. Woo! Check this out, because come on, listen, yes, we, got yes, lot, we, got, we got a lot of people watching. We won't give too much. People are going to come on to the show. Come to the show. But listen, bro, um, you know, um, you haven't been doing your show right here on Sit Ready yeah. Talk. You know, um, I think this next week, this week, yeah, next, we week, be back next week, we're yeah. going to get back, you know, to yeah. the Country Cousins show. We got to get that back on the air. Be back on the air. You know, um, like I say, you country cousin got a lot of things going on. I right, guess right, right now he's in um, Selma helping um, a singer. Singer. Yeah, I'm I'm working on a a, a campaign uh, helping a dear friend out in Sanger, uh, and the guy is running for congressman. So that's all I'm gonna say. You'll see me around in Sanger, and and I'll be visiting, trying to to get it all done. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay. Uh, everybody, everybody's cool though. You know what I'm saying. Just, Hey, just come out and check out the show. That's most important. After you get the show out of the way, then don't nothing else matter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We got time. We got time. All right, baby, we got to nap that. <laughs> we got some well, time. Listen, 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 cousin, cousin. So, um, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on with the, um, the event, the guys, um, excuse me, the veteran event and stuff like that? We, you upcoming know? veteran events. Ladies and gentlemen, look for the upcoming veteran event. And, of course, I want to mention about the... Uh, we have a GoFundMe account going on. Mm -hmm. We want to create, we want to put together the first Veterans Gospel Concert here in Fresno in April. We need your help. I have a GoFundMe, uh, GoFundMe account set up on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. Please go to Richard Graham. When you get to Richard Graham's uh, Facebook, you'll find me with my cowboy hat on. Go there. And as you go up on my Facebook site, you'll see my GoFundMe account. Yes, we tried to, try to, um, so me. we, he tried to just raise money, you know, uh, like fifty thousand dollars, because this event, I think, is it's, it's beneficial, you know, for the city of Fresno and stuff yeah. like that, because like I say, um, you know, it creates jobs in the community. It creates jobs in the community. Yes. Also, you know, give back to the community. Yes, and like I say, I, since I've been with you, I've been meeting a lot of veterans and a yes. lot of people. You know that I meet, they 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 been in the military and stuff like that. Right. And you know they they say that this is a good event. You know I'm behind you 100 yes. percent, bro. You know whatever you know whatever. Yeah, we gonna make it work. You know, and then like I say, you know if y'all watching right now, man, y'all um, hit that GoFundMe account, man. Yes. You know we're not telling you to donate a hundred, but donate something because we really really want to put. Julie Fulcher is the real estate agent for you. That, Contact um, Julie. That we need right here in Fresno, and like I say, country cousin. He does um, great work, man. You see his energy. You know, he got a lot of good energy, man. And uh, we need to really support him. You know, I support him to the fullest. You know, like I say, a lot of the stuff that I have done the last six, seven months, I know I couldn't have done it without you. And, I know and for that. a $20,000 donation, I come <laughs> to your front door and sing. No. Woo! $20,000, I come to your front Wait, 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 wait. Let me back up. If your front door is in the U.S., now, if your front door's overseas, you got to go thirty thousand the better. Thirty thousand, you said that's <laughs> yeah. so cheap. Hey, hey, when we hey. come to Australia, we gonna we need that hundred thousand dollar budget. Yeah, we yes. a month. That, yeah, yeah. Come to Australia, you see, you got you got to go up a little higher, you mm -hmm. know, for me to come over there and say get your front door. But we'll make it work. Hey, all donations are welcome, ladies and gentlemen. They really are. They they're really welcome. We we want to make sure that we help the veterans get through some of this red tape and build some ramps in their houses, widen the doors so people get through with wheelchairs. Also help the folks that's got PTSD and 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 uh, nerve problems. Uh, it just it's just so many things that I could mention about the VA veterans that most of you already know. Uh, that's dealing with veterans who come back from Vietnam, that's came back from World War II, that's come back from Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran. So you already know the situation. A lot of you do. Please go to the, to, to my uh, site. Make a donation a day, whether it's one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, whatever it may be. All donations are welcome and accepted. All right. And y'all don't forget, man, February twenty sixth at Fresno City College starting at seven PM. 
the gospel celebration. You know, like I say, country cousin, he's gonna yes. do his thing, and um, we're gonna be go, there. We're gonna um, and enjoy it. Go to the <laughs> commercial, and um, John Jones just walked in, so I guess that'll be my Ooh, next guest. Before yeah. I do, um, no print and seven thought. We right back at Fred on Hip Hop Scene. Julie Fulcher is the real estate agent for you. Contact Julie Fulcher at WeSellCaliforniaHomes.com or call 559-905-7386. Selecting for the best employee or boss? Make an informed decision. Learn more at TeamPlayerHR.com. Are you looking for a home to buy or have a home to sell? Call EVC Homes, 559-448-6484, or visit EVCHomesLLC.com. EVC Homes, redeveloping neighborhoods one home at a time. Here at Central Valley Talk, we've chosen select business systems to provide for our copy, print, and scanning needs. We used to think it was cheaper to purchase our own toner and maintain our own office equipment. But now, with the expertise and experience of select business systems, our office workflow is running at peak performance, saving our company time and money. They've truly set us up with our new sharp multifunction copier, streamlining our office with the press of a button. To find out how you can improve your office technology, call Select Business Systems at 446-0123 or visit their website at selectsharp.com. Every horse deserves a chance. Contact Foothill Horse Rescue at 559-797-6191 or visit foothillhorserescue.weebly.com. Flowers and more. Bullard and Marks in Fresno. Call 440-0920 or visit thefresnoflorist.com. Come help heal mind, spirit, and body. Treat yourself to the healing experience of Reiki. Classes available. To learn more about Kingston Bay Senior Living, call 559-568-4048 or visit KingstonBayFresno.com. Welcome back to Fresno Hip Hop Scene. You know, um, my next guest is comedian John Jones. You know, he performed this Saturday, this Sunday at the uh, Valentine event. You know, like I say, bro, you did a uh, wonderful job. You know, Natalie, before you came, she said, you know, you made her laugh. Oh, yeah, you did a great job. Hey, thank you. That's what you I, had everybody that's what going. I do, man. I'm with a good company, so that's what mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, so, yeah I um, think you do better on stage. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what my actors yeah. are, you know, engineered to be on the stage. Mm -hmm. Not good. I know. mean, you're good here, but I'm, you like glow on stage. Yeah. Got that glow. Well, you said he glow that goddamn belt glowing. No, like I say, you know, um, John, you know, um, since we've been uh, working together for the last, um, you know, month to. You know, we're just going to say two months, like I say. You know, we're going to L.A. this weekend. You know, I talked to um, Buka Pone today. Like, man, I'm not going to come out there just to come to your birthday party, man. My man got to get up. He's like, you know, no problem, Rod. So, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of things. And I, I, I'm setting up some shows in Arizona, Sacramento, and a few other places, bro. And, we, you know, we're going to hit them spots. You know? What day Are you is ready? going to be on? Yes, sir. No, we're going to L.A. We're going to L.A. on 21st. He's going to perform at the Comedy Store. Then I'm putting together a show. I think Vern talking about um, Easter or something. I'm going to work it out. But um, I talked to Nate. You know, um, they ready for you. You know, they ready to start doing some writing for you. You know, and sharpen up the skills. And just um, do what you want to do, bro. Man, I want to go to the top. So you prepared to go to the top. You know, it's 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 easy, but it's hard. You got in this in this entertainment business, you got to be dedicated. You know, like you know, can't, everybody can't be Michael Jordan. Everybody can't be Magic Johnson. You and know, it's, them it's guys like it's that. It's times too. It's certainly not like it was in the nineties. Like if you were mildly funny, you were, you know, mildly funny black dude, you were collected like it was a slave shade. Still, mm -hmm. like, like you know, you're on TV instantly. <laughs> now you gotta 
you gotta go through a whole lot of jump through a lot of hoops and oh yeah yeah it's 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 it's, it's the business the business now like you said that's 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 true you know you have you have to have a brand you have to have something that they want something they can recognize mm -hmm. you know like I say in the ninety if you just funny like Chris Tucker all them guys who was on the Comic View and stuff like that they got movie deals and you know they was in little A movies some of them made it you know big time stuff like that but. You have to start somewhere. Well, the twenty yeah. first is my son's birthday, so that should be a special day. Mm. Awesome. He's coming. Mm -hmm. Is he coming out? Or? No, we're not going out to LA. Okay, yeah, you know. It's <laughs> I'm just saying it's, it's a special day. Good juju. It's yep. gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a special day for John. Like I say, you know, I um, might have made the, the initial contacts, you know, for us to have a, a beautiful time in LA. And then, you know, we coming back March 18th. He's going to be, um, you know, open up for Spanky Hayes at Fresno City College, you know, at my first annual uh, spring break comedy jam. And it's like, you know, like I say, brother, um, I tell everybody, you know, they want to be a part of Clean Cut Entertainment. You know, believe in yourself. You know, I believe in you. I can't get up there and tell jokes. I can't get up there and rap. I can't do nothing. I just can, you know, go get the venue and work hard and try to put on something that the people want. You know, awesome. Like so, said, what joke was it that was funny uh, Sunday for you? See the belt one. They hit you with the belt one really quick, and oh, you came back that, really fast. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I dealt with that well. That, that yeah. Uh, <laughs> chubby Latino woman in the background. Oh, that's good. Yay. <laughs> well, what's that mean? You're shaped like a wisdom tooth. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody, well, you know somebody, because I, I think I went and got Nate, but somebody had said something about the belt, and you, you know, you. Yeah, that opening joke is one I use all the time, you know. Yeah. Break the ice and get people directed. Well, I don't want people to just focus in on that. I want them to focus in on the whole act. Yeah. You know, if you don't get that out of the way, people will just like, what's that belt about? What's yeah. that belt about? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Am I going to do a power slam? No. Like I said, I'm going to get me a belt. <laughs> when the budget get right, because y'all think, for y'all who watching this, man, and when y'all see this brother with this belt on, that belt weighs like about 20 pounds, so it ain't cheap. You know, the belt like six, seven hundred. You know, for six, seven hundred, I go to the thrift store, give me 17 suits. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to give me a belt, man. And, uh, like I say, bro, I got you. You know, <laughs> let's, 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 let's continue to strive for your goal and, you know, seek what you want, bro. And I'm here for you. Always. Like I say, my next guest, man, is a uh, little brother named No Print. You know, I told him to come back because, like I say, he's going to be on that uh, March 18th. And uh, when I come back to the commercial, I'm going to chop it up with him. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. For information on author Steve Hammond's Rise of the Penguin saga, visit www.riseofthepenguins.net. Kissed by the Moon, your cloth diaper and natural parenting store. Call 559-231-7101 or visit them online at kissedbythemoon.com. Low testosterone affects most men. Dr. Kevin Lester discusses a testosterone optimization program. The top program is a testosterone optimization program designed to improve men's health and well-being. Men's testosterone, which diminishes gradually from the time they're about 30 or 35 to about the time they die, which is you know, hopefully 86, 87, uh, they gradually have less and less testosterone. Your belly becomes fatter, your blood vessels become worse, you become out of shape, you get grouchy. Come in for a free measurement, and then it's almost always insured. Almost all insurance companies cover it, including Medicare. But it's free to come in for the first consultation. After that, even if you're a cash patient, it's $140 a month. Find out more about the testosterone optimization program by visiting tophatmed.com or calling 559-431-2332. Mike Briggs Properties sells homes in the Tower District and throughout Fresno and the Valley. Did you know we also sell businesses? Why work to build someone else's business when you could build your own? The small businesses we have for sale include restaurants, professional practices, and you can even own your own TV show. 
This week's featured businesses include an established pizza by the slice business in the heart of the Tower District and also available a laundromat in Van Ness Village. If you are interested in owning a business, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 and ask for details. Looking for a travel agent? Look no further. Bianca Echeveste can make your travel dream a reality, even on a budget. Visit ilovemytravelbiz.com or call Bianca at 559-284-2217. CentralValleyTalk.com What's going on, man? We back live, Fresno Hip Hop Scene. Like I said, it's Black History Month. You know, we have a lot of, um, well, I'm do I am I already did my Valentine event, you know, next week, Freeway Rick and Beer, Fresno City College. And on the 26th, I got the um, gospel event. But I got my little young brothers right here, no print and sell them thoughts, man. Um, these little brothers right here, they bringing real hip-hop, you know, real, to me, you know, y'all bringing real hip-hop back. Not even with the message, you know, the beat y'all style. And like I say, you know, a lot of people, they, 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 they don't understand rap or hip-hop. You know, like I say, bro, um, you enjoyed the show Saturday? I yeah, mean, Sunday? I yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole thing. You enjoyed the thing, you know. I, I tried to make it nice for you and my sister, your wife, um, for your anniversary, man. Like I say, Nicole, she like, you know, I like sis. I'm like, you know, I like no print, man. I, I just like you as, as a man. You feel me? Because when I met you, you know you focus. You know you say you have put your music to the side. And then, you know, you got that fire, you know, and I met you, bro. And like I say, however I can help you, I'm here for you. Yeah. You know, I tell that all the little brothers who have came on Fred's No Hip Hop Scene, you know, this is what this show is about for y'all to come up here, you know, um, to rap, the interview, and just get y'all brand out, get your message out. And like I say, um, said I'm thought that, um, hope I'm pronouncing wrong, um, your, your move, Val California. Yes, sir. California movement is real. Just got to give a shout-out to Rod Johnson. He's a blessing. Happy Black History Month. If you don't know who the lady is, Flora Stewart, look her up. Lived 117 years old, man. Black History Month. That's right. That's a little history, you know. So when's your guys' next singles coming out? Um, dealing with disc makers right now, so I'm thinking by next week I'll have oh. it back. And it's probably going to be maybe less than a month before I get it out on the internet. And I should have like maybe some hard copies too within the next month. Okay, bring yeah. them over here. Oh yeah, you know I'm coming back, you know I'm coming oh, yeah, back. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm, already... I'm coming back and let y'all know. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, he already know, you know. I told my little brother, you know, as soon as we get everything packaged up, you know, we're gonna, um, you know, do a little premiere right here, world premiere type thing, you know. Yeah, I'll be back. You know, a listening premier, party premier. somewhere, you know, we get one of the little club, try to, you know, put a little listening party together. But like I say, when he drop it right here on Fred No Hip Hop Scene, it's going to be a world premiere, you know. My folks in uh, Texas that watching right now, my folks in Australia, you know, they're going to... Um, you know they're gonna they're gonna follow you. You know, hopefully, you know, purchase the CD. I mean, purchase the single. So, I know I talked to you the um, other day. You know about um, you finna drop your single. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and I was telling you, well, giving you like a little in, um, insight. You know, I want you to drop an LP before you drop a mixtape or an album because once you put that single out, we create that buzz for that single, and then you give them like five more songs. That's your LP. And then, you know, we create that buzz and just hit them, hit them, hit them. And then, you know, drop that mixtape on the ass. Yeah. The way I'm working right now, I'm trying to make these first seven songs. I'm trying to make them all hits. That's you know, right. so I'm making like maybe a, a song a song a month. You know, mm -hmm. I, that's kind of because I don't have a whole bunch of time. But mm -hmm. when I do get in there, it's magic. You know. So what is this one called again? On Point. On Point. That's going to be the name of the album. It's On Point. Got to be. Mm-hmm. Like I say, um, when your when your when your little single coming out? My, um, per, I've been doing a lot of personal projects right now, but um, I just been working more on collabing with people to get my name more out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get more mm -hmm. Californicated. You know what I'm saying? Across the West soil. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to do. As far as me coming out with my own single, it hasn't hasn't happened yet. Okay. But as soon okay. as it happens. You know, I'll report here first, oh, no yes, doubt. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, like I say, brothers, you know, I just, like I tell everybody, man, like I just told the young lady and I told everybody, if y'all 
believe in yourself. I believe in y'all. And I know no print that you believe in yourself, bro, because you have invested into yourself. It's hard to get these little brothers to say, okay, I'm investing myself. Like I said, I done did a gang of little shows. I had a gang of little, um, you know, brothers come come through Fred no hip-hop scene that's not serious about this. They just want to rap. Yeah. You know, they just want to be famous on Facebook and not understand that you can get big in this if you be serious and dedicated. Yeah, it's bigger than Facebook. It's past Facebook. Yes, yes, yeah, I'm yes. past that Way point. past that. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no plan no more, you know. I ain't 17 anymore, so, you know, I'm ready to start making things happen. Yes, sir. We yes, hungry, sir. man. We still, man, you, you know to you, man. You still, what you, I ain't going to tell y'all his age, but, you know, when I make that buy, he's going to be 26, you know, because, you know, <laughs> little young brother, man. But like I say, um, I appreciate you, man. You know, we had appreciate a ball. You too, man. We had a ball on Valentine's Day, man. You know, hope you and the sister, the wifey, that y'all enjoyed your anniversary, man. I tried to bring, you know, the best. You know, everybody, they liked it, Eric Blake, everybody was funny. It was a nice event. You know, I got good reviews yeah. for the event. But now we're getting ready for your event that you that y'all a part of yeah. March the 18th. It's yeah. going down. I want to make, sure, make sure no one's sitting down when I come up. You know, I make music to dance to, not to sit on your hands. So It's going to be a ride you know, once we get up know. there, man. Make sure y'all there. Tune in. It's going to be a big show. So y'all heard them, man. March 18th, Fresno City College, Friday night. 6 p.m., man, I got um, Nate Duhon going to host. I got my boy Spanky Hayes coming from Wilder. Now I got my girl Bossy coming from L.A. I got my man Pete Jones. He going to turn it out. Man, shout out to Pete Jones. Man, that's my man, name. that's my kid right there, <laughs> man. You know Pete Jones is the entertainer. You know, man, that's what I call day. him. And like I say, low me. I got Lonnie Pele and um, Tony Martin and John Jones. Like I say, it's, it's just going to be. Something that I think Fred's no want, that these kids won't. You know, they know Spain and Hay from while now. And while we doing this, you know, we're going to put y'all on the map, put no print on the map where everybody can say, okay, that brother's tight. You know, when he drop his music, we're going to follow him one way or the other. And yeah. that's what I'm going to do for you, bro. Like I say, man, y'all tune in next week, man, uh, February 24th. Free Ray Rick will be sitting right here at Fred No Hip Hop Scene. And, um... After we leave Fresno, Fresno City College from showing this movie, we're going to sit right here and chop it up. You know, y'all stay tuned, man. We out. No doubt. Pasture grazed, delicious, nutrient-dense, 100% organic raw milk from Organic Pastures. This